uh, game systems too. Self-service registers that working on that end. That's and good. Putting new ones on this That's good. Here. There's the Nintendo switches. And the lights. I do not recommend the lights. Because if the thumb pads get worn out and you end up with Joy-Con drift. The entire system is defective, and that's a problem. Whereas a regular Switch, or Switch OLED, or any other one that they come out with, with detachable Joy-Cons, you can simply buy Joy-Cons if you desperately need them while waiting for your Joy-Cons to be repaired. Then you end up with two controllers uh, two to four because you can actually use them for up to four so you wouldn't be too bad off because then you'd have one to send in uh, you'd have one that will work while you have a pair to repair let's see doesn't look like you have game systems in stock They do have the Elite Series, too. That's pretty good. Hmm. Okay, I will be heading out to the... Okay, here's some various TVs. Looks like they have one for as low as 224. This one's a 1080p. Looks like the cheapest 4K as far as I can tell is 268. For that price, maybe you'd get lucky and get uh, and get a monitor that would actually be cheaper. That's a gaming monitor, but then again, maybe you wouldn't. But anyway, let's see. Let's see. Looks like power strips here. Surge protector power strips, General Electric. So at least they're give, uh, selling you name brand ones from a legitimate company and not some random junk from who knows where. Ooh. A clearance projector. That might be good, especially since it includes projector screen. That might be worth it. This one, that's a store brand, is actually more expensive than this one on clearance. That's kind of funny. <laughs> no, that's very funny. 